Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. Spanish Gem 669, Friday Review for the House of Horror, the film I've chosen to review for you. This Friday is an American independent horror film, released in the year 2010, directed by Jason Stoddard, and this film is called Another American Crime. Now don't get this misled with another film called An American Crime, they are both different stories, but very similar in title. So the American title for this film is The Afflicted. I don't know why Australia chose this title, but don't get it confused with the Catherine Keener film. So the story to this one is as follows. Maggie kills her husband in the, fi in the heat of the moment and does away with his body. Busy with raising her four children alone, she tries to build up the superficial family idol to hide the reality of fear and pain. Driven by her disturbed religious beliefs that she is carrying out God's will, she begins to inconceivably abuse her children. Hopelessly victimised by the sadistic madness of their mother, the children find themselves on the road to hell, where only death seems to be able to save them from their torment. So the movie is about Maggie. She is played by Leslie Easterbrook. Now, she is a, a very religious mother. And she, one night she finds that her husband, played by Kane Hodder in a very cameo role, is trying to leave. Uh, he's trying to run away from him because he is worried about the mental health of his uh, wife. So um, Maggie takes to this very, very personally, and in a fit of rage, she kills her husband in a brutal attack. She does away with his body, and she tells the children that uh, the husband has ran off on them, and she starts to hit the drink. And she hits the drink very, very badly, and this creates a monster. Um, her religious beliefs start to get psychotic, and she believes that punishing her children for the most minuscule misdemeanors is the way to go. She's using the word of God as an excuse to savagely beat and torment her four kids. Now, as the movie progresses, the punishments get more and more severe, which puts the lives of these children in danger, and it pretty much turns out that death is the only way that they're going to be saved from this torment. So it is a movie about hell, um, and whether or not they survive this hell, that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with a synopsis. Now, my thoughts on the film. I really wanted to like this one. It sounded really good. I kind of thought I'd get myself in for something like The Girl Next Door and American Crime. But unfortunately, this movie comes nowhere near those two because the other two films, they don't seem to be trying as hard to shock you, whereas this movie is really a caricature of evil. Everything is exaggerated to the point that loses all realism, and therefore I couldn't gain a connection with the characters for that reason, and another reason that not enough time was put in to developing the characters. This movie is really all about torture, it's basically one torture scene from the other, and as a result of that, the story really crumbles. Uh, the acting was fantastic from Leslie Easterbrook as a psychotic mother, but I thought that her character was exaggerated. It was really over the top, and therefore it came across as a horror film rather than a true sort of horror drama, a realistic horror uh, rather than, you know, just a popcorn sort of horror. So, you know, it was more interested about being extreme. I will say that there, there are some truly ghastly scenes in this film, and it will appeal to... Um, hardcore sort of extreme horror fans. I do feel that this is an extreme film. That's what, what Jason Stoddard wanted. He wanted to open your eyes up to domestic violence, but unfortunately in this case, it doesn't do as good a job as other films of similar nature because of the fact it's, you know, it, it's more like a, a film about good and evil and nothing in between. Uh, it's not a character study, and that's what I thought it would be. And as a result of that, I thought that it got a little bit boring after a while. There were some scenes where it seemed very disjointed. It seemed slow-mo, and then it'd go back to normal time, then it goes slow motion again. And I just don't know what the director was trying to achieve doing that. But, yeah, the making of the film was, for the most part, good. But there were some disjointed areas that I thought really didn't work. So Kane Hodder is in the film for horror fans, but he is not really in the film for that long, about 10 minutes. And the efforts from the children as actors, I thought they did a good job. But once again, they didn't have anything to play with. They were very cardboard cutout, so you really didn't feel as much sympathy as Jason Stoddard would have made, uh, would have wanted you to feel for them. So the ending was very rushed. I felt that the last quarter of the film was rushed, and therefore I felt a little bit cheated at the end. So it is a movie that promises so much that it actually doesn't deliver, which is very disappointing. I wanted to like this movie much more than I actually did. I'll give it two stars for the fact that it is extreme, and it does a good job at grossing you out and shocking you, but unfortunately, if they, the director put a little bit more attention into the characters, it could have been a hell of a lot uh, more disturbing. So two stars for another American crime. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're desperate for a film on a Friday night with a bit of popcorn, then um, I, I guess I would say go out and check it at least once. 
So it's two stars for another American crime. Disappointing, but it did have its moments. All right, guys, that's my review for this Friday. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Until next week, keep watching horror, and I'll see you later. Bye.